Welcome Brainers! In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy method to repair damaged or corrupted video files. Have you ever been in a situation where you captured an incredible moment on your camera or phone, only to discover later that the video files are corrupted? Or have you ever experienced errors when trying to play a specific video file on your computer? Having personally experienced these issues, I know how frustrating it is. Especially when the file holds immense importance to us. Luckily, there's a powerful software solution called 4D Dig File Repair that can help you repair corrupted video files and restore them to their original condition. Let's explore this together. This folder contains all of my videos that are damaged. When I try to play them, I get an error message. Let's see how we can fix them in just three easy steps. As a starting point, please download 4D Dig File Repair from their official website. I've given the download link in the description. Once downloaded, double click on the file and follow the on screen instructions to install the software. After the installation is finished, please launch the application. On the main interface, you'll notice the Video Repair and Photo Repair tabs conveniently located on the left hand side. While our primary focus is on video repair, it's worth noting that the same software can also be utilized to repair or enhance your photos. Within the Video Repair section, you'll come across three distinct options, Fix Video Errors, Enhance Video Quality, and Colorize Videos. These options allow us to address different issues effectively. If a video is damaged and unplayable, selecting the first option is recommended. On the other hand, if the video appears unclear or blurry, the second option would be more suitable. Additionally, the third option can be quite helpful in colorizing black and white videos. For my case, I would choose Fix Video Errors. Next, click on the Add Videos to start repair and select one or more corrupted video file from your computer. Alternatively, you can simply drag and drop the damaged videos directly into this interface. Once you've added the damaged videos, click the Start Repair button to begin the repair process. This process is incredibly fast, possibly just a blink of an eye. After the repair is finished, you can preview the repaired videos by clicking the View Results button. If you're satisfied with the repaired videos, you have two options, you can either click the export button for each video individually, or save all of them at once, by clicking export all. Let's create a new folder to store all the repaired files. This my initial damaged files folder. And this the folder where I saved my repaired files. As you can see, the files in the damaged folder give me an error. However, the corresponding repaired files are working perfectly. All my videos seem to be working fine. This is exactly what I was looking for. In some rare cases where the damage to a video is severe, you may need a reference working video file, preferably shot using the same camera or mobile device. As you can see, the basic repair was not successful for this particular video file. So, let's try the advanced repair. Please browse and select a reference file. Tap on Start Repair. Wow, advanced repair seems to work for this file. 4D Dig File Repair not only offers the highest success rate, but also comes at the most affordable price. The free download option allows you to evaluate the software and preview the results. Currently, there's an ongoing promotional campaign that offers even greater savings on the total price if you use the coupon code in the video description. 
In addition, they seem to offer a 30 days money back guarantee. While they also provide a free online video repair option, I would say the desktop application has a higher success rate. Overall, 4D Dig File Repair is a good option for repairing corrupted files. It's affordable, easy to use, and has a high success rate. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.